Hi and welcome to Majestic.Cloud. I am Laszlo and today I will continue with the SAM series with the fourth video on development of serverless applications with AWS SAM, also known as the serverless application model. Last time we looked at how can we run DynamoDB locally and make it work with SAM. If you're interested uh, in this, you can check out the channel and see that video. It's the third in this series. Today we will go one step forward and check out how can we run step functions locally together with the SAM framework. But first let's see what step functions is. Uh, step functions is a service from AWS that allows us to coordinate the components of distributed applications. Step functions is based on the concepts of tasks and state machines. You can create a state machine that execute tasks uh, with step functions one after another or in parallel and you can integrate many AWS services. The definition of a state machine can be done with the JSON based Amazon States language. In this video I will show you how to run step functions locally. For actually creating state machines please check the AWS documentation. I will probably do a deep dive on uh, step functions sometime but until then the AWS documentation is a good place to start if you want to see how state machines are created. But let's not waste any more time and dive in. First uh, I will show you around the project I've created with the AWS SAM CLI. Uh, it's a basic lambda function that just outputs a text. You can see this is the code of the lambda function and uh, it basically outputs this hello this should show in step functions execution. We also have some other files here which are important and I will go through each of them. So we have the local settings.txt. Uh, this is a configuration file and uh, it specifies the lambda endpoint that uh, should be used by the step functions. Then we have uh, the state machine definition in the state machine.json file. Um, here we have uh, the definition of the hello sf state, which uh, points to uh, local lambda function. This is the same lambda function that we have here in this file. If we look at the template YAML, we can see that we have the same names everywhere defined. Hello from local step functions. This is the same here. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now uh, let's start uh, doing the steps uh, necessary to run uh, step functions locally. First of all, we want to start the local Lambda endpoint and we can do that uh, easily because the SAM CLI provides us a method to do that. So we will do SAM local start lam lambda and I will specify a host which in my case will be 172.17.0.1. Uh, in your case this might be localhost, the local uh, IP address um, and then we also need to specify the port which will be 3001. If you leave out these two uh, by default it will uh, use the local host. Okay so let's start the lambda service locally. It takes a few seconds to load. Let's wait for it and then we can yes um, it started on this uh, IP address and port now our local lambda endpoint is working and we can start also the step function uh, um, service. To do that um, we will use docker, um, docker, uh, a docker image and this docker image uh, will download uh, if you didn't use it before. Um, I used it so for me it will be faster so you should uh, issue the command docker run specify the port uh, which will be the default port uh, used by AWS is this one 8083 
and uh, I will uh, specify the env file here uh, this is the local settings file that I shown you before local settings txt so basically uh, this tells uh, um, step functions to use this settings file and in this settings file I have the same IP address so the lambda endpoint that I've just started before if you don't specify uh, this um, uh, this uh, settings file then it will use the defaults and that is localhost and then we need to give it the um, um, image name the docker image name step function A AWS step functions local as I said um, if you didn't uh, use it before it will take a bit until it downloads okay so it run uh, you can see here some warnings but these uh, are not that uh, important because um, it says that it failed to load the credentials credentials from the environment but uh, anyway it will use um, um, local endpoints and this uh, way it's uh, not a problem if you would wanted to use um, um, services from the AWS cloud then you would need to specify the credentials in the local settings file you can also specify here like uh, secret keys and uh, access keys and stuff like that okay so it did configure the lambda endpoint I specified in that file uh, and it started successfully now we need to go to the next step and that is to create a state machine our state machine definition is in this file so we need to provide the state machine JSON as a parameter so let's do this um, I have this uh, command prompt here and I will paste the command and I will explain it to you so this is using the AWS CLI and here we have the command AWS step functions create state machine and it also has the endpoint specified this is the same endpoint we uh, run uh, the um, docker container on here we have uh, the definition file this is state machine.json this is the file here and uh, a name um, this name will be hello from local step functions and a role rn uh, this is a dummy role um, and um, locally it works with this uh, dummy role and let's issue the command and it says that uh, state machine was created and has the following uh, Amazon resource name um, then we need to actually run our um, I mean invoke the step function execution so the next command will be AWS step functions uh, specify the endpoint and start execution and after that the same RN that we have here here uh, that we received in the previous step and that is specified here and uh, the name of the execution in this case it will be test and this should be a unique name so if you run uh, this command twice uh, the second time you cannot use test so just that you know that so let's run this and um, it uh, gave back an execution rn and uh, from this we can't know if our uh, uh, function run correctly for that we need to invoke another command and that is the describe execution so this is uh, another command AWS step functions also we have the endpoint specified and describe execution and uh, here we have the execution RN which should be um, this one from here you see it also includes the test the name that we specified there and uh, if we run it we uh, get back the uh, description of the execution so here we have 
the status succeeded and uh, we also have among other uh, details the output and if you look at it this output uh, is uh, showing me that my uh, lambda function uh, runs successfully uh, with step functions it says hello this should show in step functions execution this is the same message I have here in my uh, uh, lambda function so um, that's it uh, there were a bunch of commands but I will uh, put those together with this uh, uh, small project into a github repo and you can find that uh, a link to the github repo including uh, the commands uh, also uh, the commands are in the readme file and uh, you can look up uh, there what commands I've run yeah and uh, basically that's it um, this was a video on how to run step functions locally okay I hope you liked it if you did please click on the like button subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter, Facebook and on our website at httpsmajestic.cloud. Until then, to quote someone famous, go build and have an awesome day.